so happy to be back chilling with y'all um today's episode is gonna be an interesting one kind of uh different from like the more funny things that i've been trying to work on more for this podcast but like the time i got scammed today as you can tell from the title i'm going to be talking to you about the time that i was discriminated against if you have seen this video on my youtube then you kind of already know the story but if you haven't then welcome and um let's let's start talking about it so when i was like i had to be like 18 nine not 19 i had to be like yeah probably 18 um you know i really got into radio at that point like i've always been very very interested in radio um since i was very little but i knew someone and i still know her i know someone who works for you know different radio stations and stuff and at the time the station she was working at she was you know trying to get me an internship there because i really wanted to start learning more about how to be on radio and broadcasting and things of that nature the i did this interview for this radio station and um i thought it all went so good like i thought it was going good you know i was a little nervous but nothing that was like too out of the ordinary you know interviews are usually pretty pretty nerve-wracking so i mean nothing nothing that isn't of the typical interview situation um and so after the interview i was like all right cool like you know i'm hoping that i really get this so i can get started on like my radio journey or whatever because at the time i wasn't in my college radio station yet so i think i was like just learning about it i leave and one of my brothers had actually like taken me to my interview that day and um he you know he was like how did it go and I was like I thought it went really good you know I was really excited about it um and I um I basically went home kept doing my thing and I got an email like two weeks later um because during my interview they were like if we hire you like how can like how would you be able to like work with us and i was like well sir ma'am um because it was a man and a woman um i was like well basically i i was like i would be able to work here because one like i've always had an interest in radio um two they were more so worried about like the whole blindness thing and like trying to figure out like how i'd be able to obviously cooperate and whatnot and i was like well i have a computer i have an ipad like accessibility is important and you know me having those tools like that's 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 not going to be an issue and they were like okay um and so street team like when it came to like the street team question for anybody that doesn't know what street team means it's basically when like different stations they interact with like people in the streets like basically like their fans um you know basically getting more people to listen to their station telling them about you know promoting their station um promoting any events that they have coming up um and just doing interviews like outside like not in a radio studio setting so um they were asking me about like street team and like how i'd be able to do that because i guess like they never worked with a blind person before and i was like uh okay like i guess um but so i was like listen like that's not a problem like there's you know it's not like i can't get to where i would need to get to for street team like that's not even an issue and so sorry when they were asking me they were like well how would you do it like being that you can't see and i was just like this is this is a little too focused on me not being able to see and you feeling like maybe i'm not capable enough and i was obviously obviously i was gonna show them like i'm more than capable i was like well someone would have to like tell me like where i would have to be and you know that's it like i could i could do it i could easily interact with people like i love 
I love meeting people. I love talking to people. So, like, that's not even an issue for me. They were like, okay, cool. And so when I left this interview, right, it was like a few weeks went by. And um, I had told my friend at the rate that was working at that station at the time, I had like sent her an audio message or whatever. Um, and I was like, well, you know, I think it went I think it went good. Like, I think I think it all is going to work out, hopefully, because she had like she was like, I put in a good word about you and for you or whatever. And I was like, OK, thank you. So um, a few weeks go by and I get this email and I open the email because it was from the guy that did my interview, like interviewed me. And um, he basically discriminated me without directly trying to discriminate me. He was like, I'm so sorry to inform you that we unfortunately cannot hire you um, at this time because, um, you know, I forgot exactly what the email said, but it was basically something about like, we don't feel you're capable of completing so and so task. And I was sitting here like bawling my eyes out. Like, I'm not even lying. I I cried. Like, I cried because I thought like, damn, I like blew my first shot at being able to be on radio and like learn about it. And um, I sent this email to my friend at that station and I was like, can you like, please tell me I'm not crazy. Please tell me this isn't like discrimination. Like, tell me I'm just, I'm just too looking too into it. And she's like, no, like that is discrimination. And like, I had more people, I had multiple people like look into it and read it. And they were like, yeah, like they basically discriminated you without basically saying, you know, what your disability is and saying like, because of your disability. But of course I knew like I was you know, I knew, like, this is because of my disability, and I just want to say, like, this is something that happens far too often in the corporate and working world, like, a lot of blind people, and I'm sure other people with disabilities, but I can only speak about my community, the blind community, this happens a lot because oftentimes, like, people don't see you as a person. They don't see you, you know, your qualifications, your character, who you are as an individual, When you have a disability, especially a visible disability, which technically I do because I use a cane to to navigate the world around me. And I think oftentimes in these these hiring managers, whoever interviews you, they often see your disability before they notice who you are as a person, before they take into consideration like what you are capable of. And so... I just felt like it was just so, it really did hurt me because, you know, that was my, my first like real, real moment of like having a a job. Like I've had jobs before that I haven't, I had an internship, but like this was the first time like me really wanting to do something that I loved and enjoyed, like being turned away from it. It just really kind of hurt me during that time. And a lot of people were like, you're still young. Like this isn't going to be the last time that you are on radio or you get to you know see what radio being on radio is like who is texting me girl um so i think that moment really showed me that this is how people can be and it's unfortunate that oftentimes within the blind community blind individuals have to work for blindness organizations without you know and and especially if it's not even something that they choose to do oftentimes it's because they've been turned away so many times from the job that they really are passionate about and the thing that they really want to do and i think that is so unfortunate because you should never have to feel like you cannot do something because someone tells you so Or because someone basically implies that they don't think you're capable enough. Like, I think far too often in society, people in positions like this, they don't, they're not thinking straight. And, like, that's not me trying to sound like, uh, I'm I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? But, like, I'm not trying to sound mean, but I think in situations like that where, people aren't seeing you and not paying attention to you they are basing their assumptions on something that they are noticing about you and 
a specific thing that you have that obviously is not in your control and I think that was my moment of learning that because of course like I had started my YouTube channel like in 2019 so this had to be like a little bit before that and um I shared this this like story during the pandemic um and you know a lot of people were able to relate to it and say like it's so true like this is what happens and I think it just it just really never So I think that was like my first real world moment of like people aren't always going to see things the way that you do, no pun intended, but you know, people don't look at things like that and people don't pay attention to those types of things. And I think one thing that I've been learning more and more about as I, you know, go into working and and just kind of understanding like how people are in these situations like sometimes you know people either already made the decision of who they want to pick and you know what i mean and sometimes it's just because they don't know and they're not educated enough to know about who you are as a person and how you operate and how you do things and how you live your life and i think that's why i made a channel because i really wanted to talk about those moments it's um it's important for me that I keep trying to use my voice to bring these things to people, whether it's through my podcast, whether it's through my YouTube, which I haven't done in a long time, but you know, whether it's through the things I post to Instagram, like I'm always trying to work to educate people because I think that's one thing that I think a lot of people that are some that may be ignorant and some that are just not that just don't know. I think oftentimes they just aren't educated enough to know how to be in these situations, especially when they deal with people and and are working with people with different disabilities, whether it's a visual disability, anything like I think it's so necessary that whatever community you are a part of, that you work to educate the people that are outside of that community. Because one thing I really have noticed is that a lot of the times people will only pay attention to what they see and what they know and that leaves them so closed off to the rest of the world and the communities that are around them that they just don't pay attention to so for instance like for some sighted people that never had interaction with someone with a disability like oftentimes that just means because they've never had those encounters and that basically just shows like you know they don't know about this community for other people with different different disabilities you know the same can be said for them as well that when they were in certain settings that people don't approach them the way that they would like for them to because they only visibly see that person as the person with a disability and they don't see that person as someone that has friends and lives their life and does all these different things and I think that leaves people so close-minded and limited to what else is around them and it's like that's why I've always said like people a lot of the times when people are closed-minded like this it means they are blind to the reality of what is happening in other areas of the world around them like it's it's so true and I think as I continue to learn more about you know using my voice and advocating like that's such a big thing that I've been really paying attention to because it's like yo like some people are just straight up ignorant like i've said this in my other podcast unfiltered minds um podcast go ahead and check it out and um you know i've said it like some people are just straight up ignorant and no matter how much you work to try to educate and and like show these people some people just don't want to make that change and understand it and you know open their minds to what you're saying or what you're trying to tell them and some people just straight up don't know and it may the cro- the lines can get crossed sometimes when that happens because sometimes you just don't know if it's them being ignorant or it's them just not being educated enough and so in either situation i think that's why it's so necessary to make sure that we continue to push this this I- idea of like education and 
not just the the normal setting that everybody thinks of education being in because not everything can be taught in school and a lot of things aren't taught in school and um I think education happens also in the real world and in the lives that you see around you and in communities around you. And it's not always just about the things that you know about what happens around you and your community. It's about knowing that there's other people that experience different things in life and knowing how to be able to understand that so you can approach them and and when you have encounters with those people you know that they are just a person who just has something that they are you know bringing with them throughout life um and so me being discriminated against like it is something that happened to me way too many times and if you want to hear more stories about that like in other settings like when i was in school and i got discriminated against or just when I'm out in public and, you know, people just automatically have this one assumption about blindness and disabilities. Um, just let me know in the comments over on the Instagram. If you have ever experienced discrimination, I feel you, I'm with you, and I know how it feels, and I know it's never a fun thing. And I, I just want to say something too, like, I think sometimes people, you know, I, I was talking to someone about it after the fact, and I was like, sometimes people that think that discrimination only happens in one way. They only think of it in the race sense. But discrimination happens for people that have different things that they are dealing with, whether it's a disability, literally anything. Um, it's not always just about your race. Sometimes it's a combination of like two, three things. Like for me, it could have been, you know, being a woman of color who has a disability. Um, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's things of that nature that I think more people need to understand that discrimination isn't just about, oh, this person is Hispanic. This person is black. This person is this, that, and the third, whatever race you are or whatever culture you, you, you know, you have, and you, you know, have grown up with or religion. It happens in so many different forms. And just because someone is discriminated against in a way that doesn't make sense to you does not mean that it is not real. Like, I just want to say that because I think so many times people forget and they think, oh, yeah, you weren't discriminated against. But it's like just because it happened doesn't make doesn't mean that it it's not something that happens or that, you know, is real. And so I just I just really think that more people need to understand that and learn that and like just grasp the idea that just discrimination is so broad and so wide in so many different aspects of life so um yeah I just wanted to share that story because I just I was like you know what I think I need to do more story times here and just talk about these moments because it's important to let you guys in on my world and my community and the things that a lot of blind individuals face and how we deal with them and of course I don't speak for the entire blind community like I just I want to make that very very clear like my discrimination story could be completely different for someone else and um that's just that's just very important so if you want to learn more about just the blind community um and like how we how we do what we do um check you could check out my youtube channel I'll link some more channels down below um, you could do a lot of research. Google Google is a great option for anybody that's like trying to learn more about it and just educate yourself. Like, you know, that's just such so important to say, like, just educate yourself. Like, even if someone you don't have a friend that's blind or has a different like any sort of disability, do the do the research because you need to to know how to understand it better well thank y'all so much for chilling with me today and um, i hope that this helped you to understand more about my community disability discrimination as a whole and um yeah i'll chat with y'all next time peace <laughs>